I often get asked, what's the best way to stake my Tau? And the answer is, there are a lot of different ways to stake your Tau, and it sort of depends on your investment goals and what you're looking to do with your stake. In this video, we're going to walk through the different ways you can stake your Tau so you can make an informed decision on what is the best way to stake for you. All right, so at the high level, staking is supporting validators in the BitTensor network. And so when you stake on a validator, you're supporting their work inside the network. But really, I know most of you are here because you're going to earn rewards for your support. And so you want to know what's the best way to earn rewards. So let's go into that a little bit more. Now on Tau Stats, it's really easy to stake. You can go to your dashboard. You can pick the subnet you want to buy on. You click buy. In this case, you can see I am stake, going to be staking on root, uh, staking to Tau Stats. But when it comes to staking, there's two ways to think about it. There's root staking and there's alpha staking. And so let's talk about the two of these, how they're different, how they're the same, so that you can make that right decision. When you stake on alpha, you are selling your Tau and buying an alpha token. That alpha is automatically staked to a validator as part of that process. And now you are supporting that validator on the subnet. Now, when people look at alpha staking, what do they see? They say they see higher APYs. But the other thing that's important to look at is that alpha has high price volatility. So if you sold your Tau to alpha and the alpha goes down, when you unstake, you're going to have less Tau. So there's a little bit more risk when you stake on alpha if the price it goes down. Now the price could go up and then it's a bonus, right? But again, that's part of the risk of staking into alpha. When you stake on alpha, your returns are in alpha and it compounds about every 72 minutes. So alpha, your tau is sold into the alpha token, you get higher yields, but there's that higher risk because of the alpha token price. And then it is paid in alpha multiple times a day. So let's look at root staking. When you stake on root, it's all in Tau. There's no conversion. Um, you're supporting your validator on all the subnets that they're active on. Because you're spreading it across all of those, your stake weight is 18% that of a direct alpha stake. That makes a difference in how much return you're going to get. And you'll see that if you look at the APYs, on route, the APY is lower. Um, but the advantage is there's no price volatility. So your investment of Tau that you stake will always stay as Tau and will always stay at that value. You can't lose that initial investment. Now your return by default is in Tau, but we can now also get that return in alpha. And that comes from this new term called swap or keep. And swapping means you're supporting the validator on the subnets. You're earning a little bit of alpha dust across all 128 subnets. That's converted into Tau, summed up, and paid to you on root. So it auto compounds in Tau. That's the default. That's the way root staking worked in the past. But there's a new feature called keep, where that little bit of alpha that you win, that you are rewarded with on all subnets, stays in alpha. So Summarizing swap versus keep, in swap, everything is in Tau. You never have any alpha. This is the safest, right? Your, your investment is in Tau. Your rewards are in Tau. It all stays in Tau, and that's the default. Now, keep is interesting because your Tau investment is safe, but your rewards are in alpha. So again, we have that fluctuation of alpha price, but your rewards are very, very small values. So maybe this is a way for you to start investing in alpha by just letting your rewards go over into alpha. Um, so there is, again, a little bit more of a risk in keep because all of your rewards are in alpha, you now hold alpha in 128 different subnets. If you want to change the way you are claiming on route, there's a button on the staking dashboard at TauStats where you can choose, see that your current claim type is swap. And if you click the change button, uh, you enter your password and it will change to keep. And if you're on keep, you can kick that change button and you go back to swap. Again, it doesn't, you can change that 
on the Tau Stats dashboard. So as that huge summary, what are your takeaways? I want to stake on BitTensor. You can stake on Root or you can stake in Alpha. If you're on Root, your stake remains in Tau. It's a lower yield, but there's no investment risk. Um, you can get paid in Alpha, which has a little bit more risk. You can get paid in Tau, which is no risk on returns. The payout is automatic and auto compounds about every two days. Now, if you're staking on Alpha, you're selling your Tau to an Alpha token. That's going to give you higher yields, but also a higher risk. And then that, your returns auto compound in Alpha multiple times a day. If you go to the Tau Stats dashboard, you can choose your claim and you can stake in a bunch of different ways. Um, we have videos on how all of these different staking approaches work if you're curious on details on how they are used. Uh, but they all sort of follow this idea where you can sell your stake on a subnet or you can buy a stake on a subnet. Of course, we also now have the Tau Stats app available on both iOS and Android where you can also put your wallet into the app securely and you can perform buys and sells inside the mobile app. So that's a high level summary on how staking works in BitTensor. Uh, of course, stay tuned to this channel for the latest in everything BitTensor. Thanks for watching.